shale, huh? Not that it all has to be shale, but maybe it does. All right, we have a petition. Die Pug Beauty Matched would like to entertain our citizens and visitors. Is that the goblin poet? No, it's the human bard. I mean, the idea is to have a fort that has a bunch of people in it, right? Or a bunch of visitors. And she heard the Nuts of Tin was the place to look for long-term work, huh? All right, fine. I approve. <laughs> we have a goblin poet, Ted. Hey, Ted, how you doing? <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny, but I do. All right, we should make more rock blocks of shale. Because apparently I've decided that we're making bedrooms out of shale. We'll put some doros. We'll put some bedos. Chess. Drink. Didn't find anything specific on their way down, so I guess we keep on going. Negative 100. Now we're going to find something interesting soon. So help me. Well, Father... Follow Tosid, the miner. I finished up some work. That was satisfying. Lover is lead rinsed vault. He is unfriendly and disagreeable, and he is bothered by this since he values friendship. He uh, very easily falls into love and develops positive feeling. Uh, he is bashful. Um, he is somewhat fearful in the face of imminent danger, tends to avoid crowds, has a noticeable lack of perseverance, and lives a fast paced life. He has little interest in joking around, he is slow to trust others tends not to reveal personal information. He does not go out of his way to help others. He has a greedy streak and generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity. He tends to hang on to grievances. He is distracted from conversations easily when he's trying to remember something. Me too. He likes working outdoors and grumbles only mildly at inclement weather and doesn't really care about anything anymore. He dreams of raising a family. He personally greatly respects those that obscure, observe decorum and maintain their dignity, thinks friendship is important, and doesn't care about craftsmanship. Uh, he likes marcasite, nickel silver, bonded ag banded agate, rather, candle nut wood, elk hoof, alpaca bull, dogs for their loyalty, groaning ogres for their macabre ways. That's the second dwarf that likes that. Uh, the words of the strategic paper and the sound of the vermilion flute when possibly prefers to consume giant mosquito, lungfish, mead, and two humped camel's milk. One humped camel's milk is no good. Uh, he absolutely detests large roaches. Small roaches are fine. Welcome to the fort. Down, 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 down. 
All right, we stopped digging there. Why? Oh, it's hot. Do we dig stairs down or do we dig around? I bet you this is fine. Let's dig down one layer. Do it. And let's cancel out. We have no fear. I, I certainly had no fear. And what's the worst that could happen? We could open up a portal to the magma sea and then we'll have problems hey the real angry snail how you doing surely no dwarves are going to die this is true now why did I feel confident with that because when I looked at the layer above none of the walls were hot there right so it was it was a guess but it was a reasonably safe guess but now let's go dig a little more dangerously <laughs> because we are looking for magma this is what we came here for people we're not we're not elves this is true i don't know what that has anything to do with it but just dig there And there. So I'm thinking below this layer is magma. That's my guess. Ready? Let's go. Bam! We have discovered a great magma sea. Discovered an unusual volcanic wall studded with gems. Another one. Raw adamantine. Praise the miners. All right, let's take a look. Where's this? Where's this uh, adamantine? up there yeah there's a message for adamantine <laughs> never saw it before <laughs> welcome to the end game uh i mean i'm not going to do anything with it at the moment but yeah there's there's a message for it all right well barbie dragons D for dragon. You often reach the magma sea, but you never, never, uh, had it. Yeah. So you sometimes don't see it from, because like that one in particular is like the floor of the lava, right? So I know this here is adamantine, but that's it. Like most of this is probably not. So I have to dig down here, get over to this area and dig because even all this is not adamantine. So anyways, good to know. Now we're at negative 110 and we want to get up to approximately 22. Now I don't have to put it on this layer and if I, I'm sorry, what? We have an old man merchant visiting whose name is Snusp Pig Clenches. <laughs> you are now my favorite visitor. Please apply to live here. <laughs> Please. <laughs> a legendary fish cleaner. He was interested after watching a performance. I was I felt satisfied after discussing his problems with an acquaintance. What does it even eat? It's an old man. It's obvious, isn't it? It eats what old people eat. 
basically a worm with teeny tiny legs. <laughs> Uh, he is in a constant state of internal rage. He likes to keep things practical without delving too deeply into the abstract, has a calm demeanor, and is not inherently proud of his talents and accomplishments. He likes a little excitement now and then and finds helping others emotionally rewarding, prefers to present himself modestly. Um, he tends to avoid crowds, is somewhat fearful in the face of imminent danger, he has a sense of duty, though he still holds the law in disdain, he generally finds himself quite hopeful about the future, and he's generally acts impartially and is really moved to mercy. He talks to himself when he's thinking, personally finds the idea of fair dealing foolish and cheats when he finds it profitable, finds merrymaking and partying worthwhile activities, finds the idea of independence and freedom somewhat foolish and does not respect the law. I love this this person. I, I want them to join the fort. You have a goblin nail crown. That's that's a choice. <laughs> You're doing some research on the subject right now? Well, that's helpful. Everybody's gathering up here for reasons. Okay. Uh, anyway, so... I probably don't want to have the magma up here because I would have to get through this layer of aquifer. So where would we put magma if we were going to put magma? And ideally, we would have sand nearby, right? But sand's all the way at the top. Must contemplate this. pigtails I should process some plants um, I think we found some we have gabbro we have 105 gabbro all right make a hundred gabbro blocks um, so the problem is in order to pump magma up as far as I want to go I'm largely going to need to have a glass making or metal making industry down here first just to make the pipe sections and corkscrews out of lag lagma magma safe material All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to dig out something like, I mean, I should make use of areas over here, like something like this, right? Just a huge section. Oh, let's turn that off. Just a huge section like this. We'll dig holes, put down some magma smelters, or I guess glass furnaces, because sand will be easier to bring down than than metal will and I really don't care about mining out that metal so we'll do that we'll set up a temporary TM magma glass situation down here we're gonna go up here and what I'm gonna do uh, we're going to make a little room here. 
Actually, I say little, but I really mean bigger. We'll put a couple of glass furnaces in here whose only job is to collect sand. Um, what do we have for cloth? Not a lot. But we have thread because I don't have a... I don't have any forges or forges uh, looms or anything. Uh, the fort is going well, Ahiave. Sorry, I didn't see you there for a moment. But I guess I want to set up my cloth industry in here, get things going. Maybe I'll put the looms over here and put the cloth over here. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, clothing loom there. Not out of whatever's closest. Make it out of something specific, please. Like... Mm, well. Well, well, well. Uh, yeah, make it out of mudstone. We're, we're gonna need more mudstone blocks, too. Okay, fine. Stop bothering me. I mean, I could just make it out of... stuff <clears throat> I want that old man merchant to stay in our fort look at this like novice appraiser novice organizer novice record keeper they would so be my broker I don't care if they're only a novice they would be awesome because it's an old man Not to be confused with an old man. That's a completely different thing. Mm. Alright, so. The Ulm is a predator, but can survive up to 10 years without food. Oh yeah, that's excellent. Put another one here and another one down here. I found Phylite. What does Phylite look like? Fine grained metamorphic rock formed by the recrystallization of fine grained parent sedimentary rocks such as mudstone or shale. Interesting. enjoy working next to the water like this. I would totally enjoy it. I would. Oh, you're reciting poetry? What are, what are you reciting? Oh, you have... You are a old man with variety. You know, seven different poems, several different poetic forms, including the taciturn scholars and the orbs of intricacy and the wise skirt. I am loving this fort so much. All right. 
Well. Well, well, well. How you doing, Diggle? You're tired? Take a break, dude. Felt satisfied on improving hammer. Animal has grown to be a stray llama. Mm. So here's the thing, we have a bunch of yaks already. I'm kind of inclined to butcher the bull and all the other ones are cows. So that's fine. All right, good. Because I have this problem that I don't like to kill animals, right? Like, I, it's not something I really enjoy doing in this game. Or, or at all, just to be clear. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Oh, no. Did our old man leave? Come back, old man. I want you to join my fort. Goblins are not animals. I I also don't like I I don't like war, right? Like I don't like the idea of fighting creatures. I'd much rather live a peaceful and harmonious existence, you know? As much as I could anyways. All right. Yeah, I I don't know why I walked away from this cuz I knew this was going to require constant tending. And then I'm going to leave it again. All right. Uh, this is Magma C. All right. I want a couple of glass furnaces here. Like there. And there. And then I'm going to say, this is a sand collection zone. Now, the floor will eventually grow over with floor fungus, and I can go over and, and um, like, put grates down to make it so that it doesn't grow there. But there's no need. They can collect it from the wall. Um, I was just going to set it on repeat, but we actually don't have that many bags, do we? Tanned hides, we have none. Oh, I never made a butcher or a tanner, did I? Well, time to fix that, I guess. Where am I going to put that? I feel like it shouldn't be right next to the tavern, even though that's where my kitchen is. <laughs> and I can just like put it here. I really don't like these dugout rooms. I go back to building everything. I like building. We'll say this is temporary and that'll make me feel better. So migrants have arrived. Also, we have a petition. I should be watching our migrants. Duto Pedaltrict would like to entertain us. Who are you? 
Goblin Bard. A member of the Wordy Empire, which is a human civ. Former member of the Sin of Mites. And a member of the Matched League and is a and follows the doctrines of reigning. Is that uh, Mebzith? Or is that it? something else? No, that's Whirr. Whirr. Ted is your master. Ted visited us. I don't know. You can you seem kind of sketchy. Oh, you have books though. The Goblin After the End and the Mysteries of the Trenches? And a raccoon bone Abe. I suppose that's probably an Abe. And it's a little weird that you have a goblin nail bracelet. Did, uh, tell me, did you... I, I mean, do I really want to know if he cut his own nails and then made a bracelet out of it? Is that better than taking someone else's nail clippings and making that into a bracelet? I don't know if I want to know. I'll try not to think about it too much. I'll leave that to you all. Ablel, the animal caretaker. Not from the lenses of tenacity. Udib. Also not. Nish. Also not. Different Nish. You can do a lot with some free time. I know. Led the tavern keeper from the lessons of tenacity. Um, I can't help but notice, but you all seem to be go making a beeline for um, this river here. I want to point out it is mid-spring. If you go and die falling to your doom, that's not on me. Another Nish. I kind of want Nish the um, the zombie to come visit. I I kind of I kind of want that to happen. Unib the child. Asked the peasant. Lycott the mason. Amzu. I was going to say, that's not a dwarven name. The cruelties of disgusting, the climactic ghoul. You were a part of a goblin civ civilization. Interesting. You were probably snatched by goblins as a kid. You have a blue peachick. Onol, the peasant. Zan, the fisher dwarf. Another Pijik. Minkot, the peasant. The splattered theater. Yeah, so if a, if a goblin successfully steals a child, they will end up with a goblin name. I do need some bags. So, how are we doing on cloth? I don't know off the top of my head how many pieces of cloth it takes to make a bag, but let's just make like 20 and see if that works. Yeah, so it gives you an idea of where people come from if they're non... not from your sieve originally. Uh, collect sand on... Oh, I have no bags. All right, um, I don't trust you, but sure. <laughs> I don't trust you. You're welcome here. Um, all right. Do we have any new pack animals to put in here? I don't even know. No, we just got a couple of peachicks. It is interesting. I, this game is just fascinating. All right. 
Now we can dig out all this. And then... There. So we'll have one there. One there. close to 600 hours and you're still discovering things? Yeah. There's a lot of things I still haven't even seen. Alright, I want magma glass furnaces down here. A baby? A tavern keeper's given birth to a boy. Excellent. Mazel tov. And now I want a stockpile down here. And this is going to be for sandbags. Uh, all those, none of these sandbags. I suppose, yeah, that's fine. And now I'm going to go back up here. And we've been making sandbags. Yes. Collect sand on repeat. Collect sand on repeat. Go down there. And start saying... I wish I could specify... Like, you can specify number of shops, but you can't specify only use a magma glass shop, right? end up happening is it'll queue up on the upper one, cancel because we have no fuel, and then get reassigned down here. So I guess it's fine. I know magma, I, that's true. Work orders on the magma ones themselves would do it. Yeah. Also, hi, I love who you. How you doing? Welcome on in, first time chatter. Yeah, I guess I could do it that way. I, if I really wanted to be torturous to myself, I would make them out of clear glass. Yeah, I, I actually very rarely do it this way. All right. Um. We're going to need a lot of these, but let's start with 10. Oh, tubes. Like, why isn't it showing up? Yep, ad break. I'm just making tubes. Welcome back, everybody. Nope. All 
All right, that's aquifer. I want something like... that. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> I was like, I don't want to dig that out yet. Oh, too late. <laughs> That's what I get for not pausing, you know? Not ideal. I built it up here instead, actually. Better. All right, sold. Wow, it's already 12 15. I guess I need to end the stream soon. I forgot about that. Do you miss me? I'm sure, you will. But on the positive side, I get to stream tomorrow. I want to connect it that way. Probably not. Don't bark. Don't do it. down here and we will dig that's convenient all right we made some Making progress. I've kind of forgot about building bedrooms. That's not important, is it? Hopefully not. Um, but we're making progress. We will be continuing this fort tomorrow. And hopefully, 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 that old man will come back and join our fort. Hopefully. That goblin left the mysteries of the trenches here. Ah, all 
all right fine we'll we'll go into early summer and then i will save it again <laughs> How is it already 12.15? Also, we're out of drink. Free stop. Your job is to make sure we don't run out of drink. <laughs> Never really your job. Also, when did my camera stop working? Have you all just been staring at me looking down and... Never noticed that my camera wasn't working? I mean, I certainly didn't notice it wasn't working. Oh, well, there I am. Oh well, I guess I was just a... Just talking like I was a ventriloquist or something, I don't know. Alright, uh, let's... Let's just queue up drink so I don't forget about that. It's alive! Yeah. Alright. Well, I want to thank everybody for joining me today. It's been a lovely day. Um... We will continue continue with Umbletome as soon as we can. Tomorrow. <laughs>